Finally, the research begins. For the last few weeks, you have been anticipating doing a research project for this class, but I am going to lead you through the process. The first step will be to choose a topic, and your topic needs to be something you find interesting and that will hold your interest to probe in depth. Your topic should be helpful and apply to your program of study or intended profession. This class is to help you research in your program of study, so allow the class to prepare you for that, and research something people in your profession should know. Don't pick a topic that you will get tired of after reading two or three articles, and make sure it is something that you want to share with your peers, because research is not complete until it is shared. Another criteria is that your information should be able to be verified with evidence from research studies. In addition, select a topic that is important to you, but you are not personally involved in. Sometimes students want to research topics of personal interest, but they are so emotional about the topic they find it difficult to be objective. Their personal involvement is overwhelming. Make sure you can remain open-minded and objective about your topic. Finally, Make sure you have enough background, either through education or experiences, to be able to understand the advanced material on your topic. For example, there are many health issues to research, but many medical journals are written for medical doctors, and until you have been through the intense medical training, you may not understand the material. Many students assigned to a research project jump right into finding resources on their topic, but often find many articles that are not related to the topic of choice. For example, students researching computers would find many articles about various operating systems, programming languages, chip design, security, and many other elements of computer design and operation. However, if they began with preliminary research, they would find background information that would help them prepare for the advanced sources, but would also help to determine focus areas and refine their search topic. Refining a topic is key to developing a topic that is manageable for the student's abilities and the resources available. What sources are recommended for preliminary research? Encyclopedia articles and college texts are recommended starting points for most topics. Occasionally, there may be an in-depth magazine or newspaper article that might pique your interest and introduce you to the major ideas, but usually they don't provide enough depth to understand the advanced information. There are several online and print encyclopedia that are available through the ISU library. I'll show you where to find them. This is the library webpage, and many sources for your research will be accessed online, so you will need to become familiar with the library webpage. First, notice that the default is to search OneSearch, but you can easily search the library catalog, choose from about 150 databases, or use a research guide to help decide what resources to use. There are many resources available through the library homepage, and we will look at those throughout the semester. Right now, preliminary research is your priority. Starting at the ISU Library webpage, choose the Research Guides tab, and then choose College Level Research in the drop-down menu. It should be at the top. That will take you to this LibGuide that I put together for this class. As you look at the tabs, Notice that there are tabs with information that has been in introduced in this class, including the score assessment information on the selection criteria for sources, and the information about reading difficult material is in the Understanding Challenging Material tab. The Idea Development tab includes information about note-taking and organization of ideas. The next tab is Background Information, and those sources are recommended for preliminary research. For most of your topics, I recommend you use the Gale Virtual Reference Library, but some of you might find the Oxford Reference Online helpful, and there are other sources as well. Just like with many sources, they all have areas of focus. First, let's use GVRL and see what is available on your topic. To access the Gale Virtual Reference Library, you will need to log in with your ISU ID number and last name, unless you are using an ISU computer. 
Once you are on the GVRL page, you can choose a subject or choose a particular title to search. However, my preference is simply to type my search terms in the search box at the top and enter. The results will be articles listed in order of relevance as noted in the box in the upper right corner. But also notice the facets listed on the right. You can narrow your results by document type, publication title, or subjects. In the list of results, the title of each article is in red or orange depending on your monitor color. Below the red article title is the gray title of the reference work. Most of them are encyclopedia. Also, you might notice the author's name, editor's name, publisher, and year of publication, followed by the first line or two of the article. Notice that there are articles from many different encyclopedia and other sources. Choose the source that will provide a solid background on your topic. Remember, this is to prepare you to understand the advanced research on your topic and to help you refine your topic. Click on the red article title for the one that you want. Here is the complete article. Notice that you can choose to listen to a computer read it to you. You can also view the PDF version of the article rather than the HTML version, which is shown here. Quite often the PDF version is preferred if used as a source for a research project. Also, on the right, notice the tools. You can click on the citation tools and they provide the citation in MLA and APA format. Be careful how much you rely on their help. There are several errors here. However, you can use it as a draft. Just make sure you make corrections. For example, in the APA citation here, only the first two lines are what you need, and they didn't put the citation in the hanging indent, which is important. The URL will not work for a direct link, so you need to include only the part of the URL with the Gale Publishing homepage. Remember that one of the purposes of citations is to lead the researcher to the sources you used, so don't provide a URL that won't work. We will talk more about that later in the semester when we work with websites. I encourage you to email yourself encyclopedia articles on your topic. You need two different articles from different encyclopedia, although they can both be from the GVRL or both be from the Oxford Reference Online. I suggest you email yourself a few. You can choose the PDF version or the document contents, which is the HTML version and choose the MLA or APA citation style. To access the Oxford Reference Online, return to the College Level Research LibGuide Background Information tab and click on it. Again, you will need to log in if accessing it from a non-ISU computer. The front page of the Oxford Reference Online has a list of titles and subject areas you can search, and you might notice that there are quite a few dictionaries in addition to encyclopedia. Again, I prefer to type my search terms at the top. The results are listed again by relevance, although you can change that. For each article, the title is followed by the name of the book, reference type, publication year, and subject areas, and the length of the article. There is a brief excerpt from the article with the search terms highlighted. Make sure they are used in the same context you intended. In Oxford Reference Online, the facets are on the left, so you can narrow your search by reference type and subject areas. Click on the article title for the source most useful for your topic. And there is the complete article, with the citation information in the tan box. Notice the search terms are highlighted. Above the citation box are the icons to print, save, email the article, and the pen is the icon for citation help in APA, Chicago, and MLA formats. Again, use the citation help only as a draft. There may be errors. After choosing your articles, you will need to do a score assessment for each encyclopedia article. Make sure they are from different encyclopedia. You will need to include the citation in the format of your discipline of study. Your search strategy should include the encyclopedia database name, your search terms, and why you chose your article from the results list. 
Then assess the article with the elements from the score assessment and with a point value and an explanation for the points and a general comment about the credibility score near the total points. For the relevance comment, give a brief summary of the article and include how this source helped revise your topic. You will need to read both encyclopedia articles. They will help you refine your topic. After reading the articles, decide on a focus area, then raise three questions about your topic that you will probe. Make sure your questions are why and how questions that your research will address. Avoid questions that can be answered with a quick yes or no. Then share your research questions in the forum on Moodle. Sharing your topic often opens a stimulating discussion and others may raise questions and issues you didn't consider, which is important. Remember to provide feedback to at least two other students on their research questions as well. Next week, you will build a search statement and have a conference with Professor Gray about your topic, so think about it. Meanwhile, know that each score assessment on your topic will be submitted as an assignment and will be a major part of your final project, which is an annotated bibliography. In this way, you will have all your sources for your final project and will only need to make corrections and adjust the order of sources when it is due at the end of the semester. Again, I'm available if you want my assistance.